Hey, welcome back. Oh, you finally got me. Hi, everybody, sign here again with another episode on the uh, AC2 official server. And, uh... Hi. I'm waiting for this Rex to heal up. Are you doing your run thing again? Yeah, she'll attack for a while and then uh, she'll go through and try running away and she can't move. Okay, so wood, fiber, and metal. There we go. And uh, the problem with her was I found her under that rock ridge over there and led her over here to my trap. And uh, she got tangled up with some freaking saber teeth on the way. And the bleed on those things is just stupidly effective. Oh, there's that 174 still running around. Uh, I first tried pulling a UT, and that thing, yeah, it was a level 18, and it died in like, no time at all. And then I found... Two 174 Rexes, a male and a female. And the male died on the way over here. She was down to like 800 health. So I've been letting her heal up and then I'll go through and apply Torpor to her. I'm actually using my crossbow instead of the boomerang because I seem to be getting slightly better uh, Torpor to damage with the crossbow. I think it's probably the Torpor added over time that's making a difference. But uh, yeah, we're slowly getting her up in Torpor here. Uh, I've been carrying around the, the bits to make that little room for quite a while, actually. I finally got it made. There we go. And then, this is basically my little uh, AFK spot right now while I'm waiting for her to heal. And a place I can put my Venturong to help with taming and have him be safe. Now, there's windows here because freaking Sabres, their pounce attack, can actually hit you through a window. Like, I got hit by one through this window against this wall. And it killed me. With the bleed. I am not a fan of making Sabres that damn dangerous. They are not that good of a team that they can... I mean, I watched a level 60 Saber take out a level 102, I think it was, Rex. One-on-one. -on -one. That's broken at that point. Quit pushing me, would you? The crouch, can you not, like, push me around? But I can even go through here and I can open the door and... Keep an eye on her health. But I'm going to go ahead and cut here, and uh, it's going to take a while for her to heal up enough. So the Rex got out, and it's getting its butt kicked by Dilo. What the heck? She had 2300 health when she got out somehow. And glitched out through the wall, whatever. I was in the room there, and she just went running past me. And then... Oh, well, now she's doing this number two. That freaking Dilo there. Apparently she stepped on her whatever, but aggroed to her. And did 600 damage to her. And I think she made it like twice. There we go. And she just healed like 100 off of that. Oh, now she's going after my hut. Okay. I... I can... How did you get mauled that bad by Dilo? Of all things. I mean, I could try tranking her out, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to do it with, you know... 
without killing her. Alright, are you coming after me? Okay, good. Get back in the box. Come on. Come on. Oh, nope, nope. She's like, I'm not going back in the box. Oh, and this is the same box I found out that, you know, a Carno can go over a too high wall. That's news to me. I think I've pretty much killed almost everything else in the area now. Because pretty much everything has come to attack me. So... Is she gonna go she's gonna go after that Bronto, isn't she? There we go. Okay, she just killed an eight something. Oh, yep, look at that. Yep, yep, rest in peace here. Bam! <laughs> like seven hundred damage from that stomp. That stomp is insane. And she pissed off the strider. Oh, and the trikes, and... Yep, she's dead. Oh. You. Twenty-four and a sixty, huh? You know what? Oh, I'm gonna do this. Oh, you're not getting out of here easily. The heck is the Bronto fighting now? Take that and those. Eh, sure, why not? No arrows? Okay. And then this was the Rex. That is just sickening, though. So, yeah, that Bronto is just... Oh, hi, I you jerk. Yeah, the Bronto was fighting something that made a bleed, but I don't see a body around here. Of course, there's Dylos in the area, so they go right for corpses. Oh, wow, look at you guys. You little bastard. That was mine. Ah, <sighs> all right. Is there anything around here that I can tame then? You're only a level 30. See, I can see from down here. What do you want? 10 missions? Okay. I really haven't done a lot of missions. So that's one of the reasons I wanted Rex's is to, uh, I think code red. We might be able to squeeze Rex in. Maybe I should just get an aloe instead or something. Something smaller. Man, I do have a pretty good Osteraptor line, too. Alright. Let's see. Oh, 
we got sabers galore around here. There's that Carno. It fully healed and his torpor is finally down to zero. Oh, you remember me, don't you? Yeah. Figured you might. Uh, Scorpio Venator. Corosaurus, okay. Corvo. Freaking 30. Is that Ankarama? Yep. Oh, there's a raptor over there, 108. And... I really should tame an Arceo Andro sometimes. They're just such a pain to tame. I Actually, I've tamed one. Didn't really use it a whole lot, but... uh. You can only feed them while they're sitting. And, uh... Yeah. It's a huge pain because, well, they get up and walk around and... Sometimes they walk around far enough that they, you know, drag you into a hostile enemy of some flavor and then they get hit and you gotta start all over again because it's a passive tame. That is a bright green mammoth. All right, well, we're almost back home. Yeah, pretty sure I can't take flyers into most of the simulation missions anyway. I need a good ground mount of some flavor. All right, and... Yep. So this is a giant metal crop plot here. And, I mean, they're fairly expensive to make. It just says large metal crop plot. So I didn't know it would be the size of four crop plots. Basically four foundations in size. And uh haven't tried it yet. They're automatically irrigated, though, it looks like. This water zero out of 24, but maybe I just always check it in the rain. I don't know. All right, uh, let's go over here. And I've got two... Corrosion wyverns up here breeding. And I actually need to check to see if their eggs are good for uh, top tier kibble or not. If they are, then I don't have to worry about uh, getting a Uteranus. But uh, go check that out real quick. I know I made this nice bridge and then I just fly back and forth. It's just like, it's not quite nice. It's getting there. The work in progress. All right. If I drop you in here, kibble. It does. They do work for extraordinary. What else do I need? Uh, Laz chowder and honey. Uh, that's, yeah, thing. I did get some taming done while I was out there, though. I mean, it, it wasn't a complete loss, but. That Rex at the end, that was just annoying. Uh, I did got, I got two Pulmonoscorpus. 168 and a 156. And they came up extremely quick. I left my Benturong out there. Dang it. He's got food in his inventory. And then I got two 174 Direwolves. Both female. You know, maybe for some of the missions, a Direwolf pack might not be a bad idea. I need to get a male, though. And find another set of tech claws. I got myself a cruise missile. Uh, let's see, an extra hatchet. Uh, let's put some of those away. There we go. And I didn't drop my scorpions off. I should have. Oops. And I killed an alpha herrerasaur. And again, all I got out of it was alpha blood. It didn't get loot crate. So I'm wondering if either they're malfunctioning currently. Or if the Herrera source just don't give you a loot crate. 
I mean, it could be either or. Uh, let's go drop these guys off. And over here, I've got six more, well, five more corrosion wyverns. Level 24 male. I mean, yeah. Level 96 female. It took this many eggs to get a female, and then I went and tried again, and I got a, a slightly better one. What I'm doing over here right now is actually trying to normalize stats. She's a 192 for the male, and she's a 144. She does have better melee than the male by one point. All her other stats are worse, though. I've got another hatchery set up over here. Yep, okay. Why are your eggs not? They're not made out of feathers. That's for sure. Got myself another Dimetrodon. Because I figured, why not? Uh, you are going to need food, it looks like. Well, maybe. That feeding trough may reach. I don't know. Yeah, you're too far away. Okay. Um, I think I'm looking for like a one, the 180 something to have all the good stats. Oh, they're all males too. There seems to be oh, 187. That might be it, actually. A, a, a definite leaning towards males, though, when the eggs hatch. Uh, 187. Uh, he's got the bad stamina. 75. 76. I don't care if we get bad food, but bad weight is it's a no-go. And, yeah. Nope. This has got bad stamina, but all the other good stats, but it's like, nope. Alright, guys. Guess what? Don't need you. And I need meat for my Demetrons over here, and I'm too lazy to run next door, so... Or the gun. Thank you. Okay, Owen is dead. All right. Takes him a little while to update sometimes. I got only Prime. I did get some Sulfur out of them, too, though. Not used to that. Yeah, I should just bring a feeding trough over, I think. It'll make the food last longer, at least. Did I already grab? Yeah, I guess I already did grab your spoiled. Got myself a beaver now, because unlike the mammoth, the beaver can go through the frickin' gate. I was not impressed by that. I mean, I could have put a vanilla gate in. Probably would have been a better, you know, idea, but... Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, let's just grab that. Grab ourselves a feeding trough here. This is the, uh... Good food, good items. That was support for veggie cakes. Uh, it's a bit... Yeah. I don't need it. It's a bit extra. But, uh... I mean, it works. Uh, what do you got for eggs in here? One moss chops, one argent, 77 dodos. This is why I've had my moss chops breeding, though. That way I can turn all those eggs into uh, superior kibble. But you'll notice that uh, Alice is nowhere around. 
Yeah, the, there's a tragic story there. Got ambushed by an Alpha Car Car. And since Car Car, you know, their uh, their bites drain stamina. Yeah. Come on. Thank you. It's only shift. Where? Uh, yeah, wasn't able to take off. I yeah. Didn't have a whole lot of stamina, and landed to pick up a drop. I was fighting off some aloes, and uh, car car come out of nowhere and just destroyed Dragon. Malice. Well, between, you know, the fact I was fighting an alpha creature and aloe bleed, yeah. Did not end very well. All right. So we can do what? There's Zeno Saddle now or something? Yeah, there's Zeno Saddle. Uh, we got all the turrets. And I'm starting to get to some of the tech stuff that yeah, I have to beat bosses to get. So I need to start doing missions if I want to get any tech stuff, I guess. What are we doing on narcotic and stuff? Eh, not bad. Dang it. Freaking sulfur messing with me. Alright, well. Can I have my few bullets back? Thank you. You know what? I should probably go ahead and make a harpoon gun, actually. I've got enough weight now that having it on me is not going to be too bad. Uh, say five of these things because they oh I'm missing metal dang uh, actually there's metal in here isn't there oh yeah just ran out of wood so and light so I have exactly one net We go and how much weight do you have? 734. Not great. Oh, nice. Got a good amount of spoiled meat. That'll help later. I need to go find, like, a good ground mount. I mean, I've got a great flying mount. Actually, I got two. Damn good RG and get the wyverns. And I've got my alpha killer here. A uh, freaking cherubrim here has killed two alpha raptors and one alpha hererosaur. So. Having an ascendant saddle that I got early on really, really helped that. Yeah, hex guns am I at? 9,800, huh? Uh, well, should probably go get my Ventrong, too. There is a 162 Ferox over here. Stupid freaking sabers. I swear. Thanks, man. But I came back to pick up my uh, my Binturong and found a an aloe sitting here. Well, not here. Uh, just up that ridge right there. So I was like, you know what? Okay, it's one seventy four. I took care of her uh, companions. Went ahead and left my Binturong here. Uh, actually, I only need 10. Okay. Right. 
Ran back, got some kibble. And she's full already. Wow. That didn't take long. It was only like, what, four pieces of kibble? Oh, no, it was six. Okay. We're still losing 0.1% uh, even with kibble taming. Like, really, game? I don't think she'll lose the level off of it, though, so... Yeah, I, trap works for Rexes, apparently. G'day, Just don't hold them inside of it for like an hour and a half, and it works for Allos. Haven't tried a Carno since I added the railings to the top. That 174 hasn't come back around yet, so. How are you holding up? Yeah, you're still hurting. All right, come here. There you go. Get some more healing going. Oh, and we just got done warping. Yeah, she's got popcorn scent. Awesome. That really does speed up the uh, the taming time a lot. So you just need two more feeds. And she's already down. That's halfway to the next gibble, so. Just me or does the torpor seem to be draining faster too, though? It might be. I mean, I knocked her out here, ran back to base, uh, hatched up some more wyverns. I found one who's basically an identical twin to the male that I have. And, uh, except for he's, well, he is a basically identical twin. He's got a little better food stat, but, uh, didn't get the plus one melee, and I'm like, you know what, good enough. But, uh, these guys do take a while to raise up. They take, uh, well, they have four imprints at 22 minutes per imprint. And when you get the last imprint done, they're about 75-ish percent grown. So, 75, 80, somewhere in there. So you're looking at like an hour, 20, hour and a half to raise up a wyvern. The good news is if you have to go somewhere, you can at least pop them into a soul trap and not worry about screwing up the uh, imprinting. There we go. Oh. All right, so what do we come out with? Um... Pretty average stats, actually. Very average. But 41, yeah, I'll take it on 41 melee. Alright, um... You know, Snow Owl would be handy for taming, too, actually. Thinking about it. Would have saved me a lot of time with that stupid Rex. Oh, look at you. Hmm. Yeah, this is where I found those that aloe pack, and I'm just kind of wondering if another one has spawned in yet or not. Here, I'm here. Let's get some more metal. Are you kidding me? Freaking scorpions, man. They are so much faster than I'm used to. There. It's often enough for you. No, 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 no. Where are you going? You need to eat that. And... This one might take a while to break. Hmm. 
We're probably going to get roughly about 200-ish out of here. 250, maybe? Uh, yeah, 256. Yep. Wow, that's not bad, actually. Like, 700 weight's not great, but it's like, you know, it, with the weight reductions, it does, you know, take quite a bit of metal to load up an RG, so. Or at least this RG. Well, look at that. 156. One seventy four female. Okay. Um she's got kinda average stats it looks like from what I can tell. Uh she's got high food. Okay, yeah, nope. But I mean in time it took me to tame one, another one, another pack spawned in. What is... Oh, that is a saber tooth. Okay. Look too small to be a saber tooth. All right. Well, at least we got one good tame in. Now I just need to see if I can find a really good male uh, aloe around here somewhere. why I have this box over here, even though it's a pain trying to tame anything with freaking sabers and wolves around. Oh, there's another Rex. 180 male Rex. Now. Uh, the way it's going right now, I would have to kibble tame it. Uh, wow, you survived all that, huh? Either that or it's uh no, it's 66 and it's the same colors, so. Cause it was a war zone over there for a while. It was just flat nasty. Alright. One thing I want to check, is this the spot where I found hunting before? I found two beehives. I can't remember exactly where they are. I just know they're On these uh, rock bridges. They just hang from the bottom of them. Uh, nope, wasn't this one. Okay. One fourteen oxaliad, not bad. Passive tame, and it's gonna take forever. I don't have extraordinary kibble yet, so I mean I could start making it, but it's gonna take my wyverns a while to degenerate that much. Uh, other than that, you'd be feeding them 24 mutton, and yeah. That wouldn't exactly be great. Well, that was an Ongtarama down there. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. 114, huh? All right. Ah, uh, dang it. <laughs> 174 male aloe. It was fighting a Thyla when I found it. And then it died to a Deodon. Ah. <sighs> hmm. Nope. Too far away from my trap, and I'm not building another one over here. Yeah, I was hoping I was gonna be able to get a partner for my uh, my aloe, but looks like no luck. I missed, or you just can't pick up the R variant. Not sure. The cool thing about Archies, though, if you're hovering, they don't drain stam, so you can just sit up there and boom. That is a definite 
boost that they've needed for a while. And that Spino is pretty close to being dead. What, 24? Yeah. The colors on that thing, though. That's fighting a Baryonyx and getting owned, it looks like. Come on. I was trying to pick you up to, you know, eat you, but... Can you not pick up berries anymore? Or am I just, like, that bad at picking stuff up? You know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna turn around. And... Ah, that's annoying. It over right here. Nope, you cannot pick berries up with an RG. I know I've done that before in the past. All right, go ahead and get our stam up. Toss out some of the junk so I don't end up taking it home. Yeah, it's just a Zarko, okay. It's a level 30 Spino. Okay, come on. Out of the water. Nice. I've been trying to level up my Archie for a bit now. Can you pick up trikes? I doubt it. Nope. Yeah. Awesome. And more weight. So a bit of time has passed. I uh, have not been able to find any other, you know, decent aloes. I did, though, find an Alpha Dinochirus. Come here, buddy. Do this again. I just flew out to uh, catch some stamina and start the recording. Oh, and now, now you're being bashful. I got it down to 20k already. There we go. I didn't get a chance to land, buddy. You should be back in the air. Yeah, my new uh, Corrosion Wyvern named it Mayhem, and uh, it's kind of living up to its name, actually. That, and it looks about as beat up as the guy from the Allstate commercials. So, and dead. Alright, so we got a couple of chibis. We didn't even get a level on the Wyvern, though. And uh, we got two loot crates as well. There it is. Uh, okay, climbing pick blueprint, wand on saddle, ibble. All right. Hmm, exceptional kibble. Cool. Good. Fiber milk. Awesome. Narwhal saddle. I don't even know if there's narwhals on this map, actually. And I have been, uh, just, yeah, eliminating a lot of the predators in the area. Good amount of alpha blood, though. That's actually pretty nice to get. Almost 400 from him. Awesome. Uh, we got a little bit of raw mutton, too. Uh, yeah, I've basically been doing a uh, meat run. Hey. You're too low of a level to exist. Go away so that somebody higher can spawn in. I 
a feeling that poor guy just uncrawled from his ball. And then I happened. Am I gonna get attacked by the wolf or what? No? It's not. <laughs> that thing is just like, no, I'm I'm running away from you, buddy. Oh, uh, looks like we got some rare flowers too. Oh, uh, can I have that back? Go. I need at least one more rock, I think, and some thatch. Like a bowl of the wolf. Uh, I don't know if a bowl is going to last long enough, but uh, it's worth a try, right? Okay, let's see if I can get far enough back that I can hop off. Grab some of that stuff. Oh, I got a chibi ghost uh, Dynakyrus. All right, uh, Bola. Oh, that's right. You something changed, and you can't do the resource pull while you're on a mount. All right. Is it you? Yep. What the hell was that? It just like ran around me. All right. I should have picked up an frog so I can get another one though. And I got that dog. He juked hard. It's like, oop, nope. You were denied. There it is. There's the puppy. Hi. I don't know if I'll be able to knock this thing out, actually. Without killing it. It's going to torpor run. Why aren't some of these hitting? Nope, nope. Oh! Hi, you're not torpor running. Now you are. That hurt. Uh, yeah, probably not going to be able to chase that thing down. At least not on foot. How did I not grab the dog? Got him. Now, do we let go of the dog if I uh, hop out of the seat? I think so. And I can't use weapons from up here, can I? Nope. So... Dang. There's really no good places, uh, natural places to drop them. And I don't feel like hauling them all the way over to my uh, aiming pen. I need just like a hole I can drop this guy in that he can't get out of. Not really a thing though. Not around here. Especially when they're torpor running. Yeah, they'll just run off of any ledge whatsoever. So it's not like I can shove them up on a smaller platform. I love how the dog is not actually even close to where my feet are. It's like I impaled him with like an ankle spear or something. Or spar. Spur. Spur. That's the word. Alright. Um... Maybe there for now.
and then um yeah another bowler should be fine and the cooldown should be more than lapsed by now stupid bug it used to work just fine You know what, I'm just gonna leave you here. You need to sit and heal for a bit anyway, so. There's the dog. The dog went into the water. Hello, wall trial bite. Dude. That is kind of cool, though. I like that. Yeah, he's no longer torpor. Or torpor running, I should say. He still has a pretty good amount of torpor, though. Uh, let's go for this beach over here. Come on, puppy. Yeah, I should be able to knock him out, though, without killing him. And then I'll actually have a... Uh, I'll have two females and a male direwolf. <laughs> I love that little bounce up thing they do sometimes. Oh, and he has just decided, nope. <laughs> now are you after me? I kind of, yep. Ow. Yeah, you are. Okay. Ow. That was close. There we go. So you want six superior. Should have more than enough of that. Oh yeah, got thirty-seven now. Oh, <laughs> I got kibble from the uh, the Dinochirus. All right, and. My doors always quit working when it starts warping. And condensed gas, sure, why not? Put you back on the hot bar and that stuff away. There we go. Shouldn't take long to tame up. I've got my uh, my Binturong on my shoulders, so. Which is definitely one reason to be more careful than I have been. Alright, almost tamed up. Time to see what kind of stats we're going to get. Thank you. And... There we go. Alright, so, here we go, we've got 251 versus, what, 2260s, okay. So, 43 points into health versus 27 and 42, okay, so he's got the highest health anyway. Uh, let's see, 39 stamina, 41, 36. 30 weight, 31. 40, okay. 39 melee, though. 40 melee, okay. And 28.
All right, so yeah, we got a decent mix of stats. Um, right around 40 for the important ones anyway. 48 oxygen. Hey, look at that. So you should be able to get some pretty decent dire wolves out of that. Now you, <laughs> we need to heal you up. So I'm thinking I should go... Actually, I've got a red panda in my uh, storage. Probably tame some more, though, because I wouldn't mind, you know, having a little breeding colony of red pandas. Uh, for no other reason than, like, I can keep one where I hatch my eggs, you know, to make sure that my babies don't die, ever. I can have one to go with me, I can have one at base just in case something happens, and all the fun stuff there, right? Alright, so you can go into there. I really need to just, like, buckle down, though, and go metal mining. I I am so poor when it comes to metal. Like, it's a good day when I can make, like, a dozen shotgun, you know, shells in one go. There you go. Okay. So you don't need all that. So. How are we doing in here? Uh, yeah, we got plenty of each. Okay, cool. Wow, that was one of the worst rubber bands. Alright, so what is the other chibi? Oh, it's also the ghost. Okay. Yeah, okay. Cool. Uh, let's see, I do have a bit of food supplies in here. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Um, I would like to start using Trank Darts to, you know, take things down, but like I just have no metal. So I got to do something about that. Now, cementing based, I'm excellent on. But, uh, yeah, metal itself, I burn through it as quick as I get it, honestly, so... I need to sort through my equipment, too. But, thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and until the next one. Sign signing out. Have fun.